If you're using Windows 11 and you've encountered the error message, a driver cannot load on this device, particularly involving the ENESCS driver, you're not alone. This issue often affects CD, DVD, ROM drivers, which can result in problems accessing these devices. The good news is that there are several straightforward steps you can take to fix this error. Let's go through them step by step. First, start by checking for any pending Windows updates. Open the Settings menu on your computer and go to the Windows Updates section. Here you'll see an option for Advanced Options. Click on that to navigate further. Once you're in the Advanced Options menu, look for a section called Optional Updates. If you find any updates listed here, especially driver ones, make sure to download and install them. After the installation is complete, restart your computer to see if the issue is resolved. If the problem persists, consider rolling back a recent operating system update. While still in the Windows Update settings, return to the Advanced Options menu and look for the Recovery section. Under Recovery, there's an option labeled Go Back. If this option is available, not grayed out, clicking it will allow you to revert your system to the previous version of Windows. Sometimes, issues like this arise after a recent update, and rolling back can help resolve them. Keep in mind that your system will restart to apply this change. Another potential fix involves disabling a feature called Memory Integrity. To do this, search for Core Isolation in the Start menu and select the related result. This will open the Core Isolation settings within Windows Security. In this window, you'll see an option for Memory Integrity. If it's enabled, turn it off. This feature is designed to protect against certain types of attacks, but in some cases it can conflict with drivers like NSSense. Once you've disabled it, restart your system again to check if the error is fixed. If you're still encountering the issue, try running the Program Compatibility Troubleshooter. Go back to the Settings menu and navigate to the System section. From there, click on Troubleshooters and then select Other Troubleshooters. In this list, you'll find the Program Compatibility Troubleshooter. Run this tool, and it will display a list of installed applications. Select the one causing the issue, if applicable, and follow the on-screen instructions. This tool will analyze the problem and may adjust some Windows settings to ensure compatibility with the driver. By carefully following these steps, you should be able to resolve the a driver cannot load on this device error related to the NCES driver. Each solution targets a specific potential cause of the problem, so try them in order and test your system after each step. Hopefully, one of these fixes works for you and you can get back to using your device without any further interruptions.